good to all my fans and my friends and my fam and my friends and my flems. And welcome back. Now, this time of year is the time when everyone wants to predict their E3 announcements that are coming up. I was at E3 in Los Angeles last year and I had an absolute blast. Hey Jess, you having fun? Huh? Oh. <laughs> but yeah, it's prediction season basically. Uh, so I've been thinking and I've been jotting stuff down and these are my hopes and wishes and predictions for 2018. Here we go. Let's start with PlayStation. So firstly, I think they'd be mad not to give us some more The Last of Us 2 information, potentially a gameplay trailer, at least a new trailer, even if it's cinematic. Uh, they'd be mad not to, to throw one of those in there. So yeah, hopefully we'll get some new info, maybe a release date. If we're lucky, who knows? We haven't seen any gameplay at all, so. A few years back, uh, Naughty Dog had a live Uncharted 4 demo that they played on stage, and fingers crossed we get something like that for The Last of Us 2 this year. That would be amazing. That'd be super, super cool. So, we will see. On top of that, I'd love to see some new stuff for Kingdom Hearts 3. I feel like all the announcements for Kingdom Hearts 3 have been very non-E3 so far. They've been at like Disney conventions and, uh, you know, Japanese uh, conferences and conventions as well. So who knows, maybe they'll treat us at E3 this year. I mean, they've got a huge Western audience, so fingers crossed. Now, Sony dropped a remaster of Shadow of the Colossus, which was originally a PlayStation 2 game, and they basically remade it from the bottom up to run on the PlayStation 4. It looks fantastic, amazing, and such a cool game. Now, that game was part two in a trilogy of games that has been released. Uh, the first being Ico, the second being Shadow of the Colossus, and the third being The Last Guardian on PlayStation 4. Are we going to see some new info on a fourth one? That is the question. Fingers crossed. I know The Last Guardian didn't do as well as probably anyone hoped, which is a shame because I really, really liked it. As annoying as that giant lovable bird dog thing was. Oh boy, he was cute. He was so cute. I just gotta give him a pat. I just give him a pat on the head. I just give him a nice little snuggle on the leg. A little ruffle of his feathers. Give him a little pat on the head. Oh, and I ride him in the back and I jump in the thing and then fly in the... And then call him, he doesn't do anything. And I call him again, he doesn't do anything. And then I say, come on, mate. I come, like, come on, mate. I gotta do... He doesn't do anything. It was a good game. I, re I really, really liked it. So fingers crossed we get uh, new information on a fourth one perhaps, who knows? Uh, this is just wishful thinking really. Speaking of sequels, uh, can we talk about Nier? So Nier Automata did amazingly in sales and reception in both the West and East as far as I'm aware. Um, a huge jump over the release of the first game, success-wise, and uh, they'd be mad not to make a third one because like the fan base is there and they are rabid. Will we get it this soon? I don't know. Maybe a teaser trailer would be cool. I, I don't know, but, but yeah, a boy can hope. <laughs> So a few years ago, there was a game called Journey on the PlayStation 3. It was developed by a small game company called That Game Company. Brilliant name for a game company. And they have a new project, and the new project is called Sky. Sky is due to be released on iOS first, and then ported to PlayStation 4. And they have had uh, gameplay trailers out already quite recently and I hear there's a beta floating around. So they've got to be close to release by now. Hopefully we'll get, yeah, a release date soon and maybe a release date for the PS4 release as well. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to that because if anyone's going to be able to pull off a follow-up to Journey, it'll be the people that made Journey. Come on, that game company. Give us the goods. Branching off into other franchises that are generally cross-platform, uh, Saints Row 5, please. So, as a lot of you know, I'm a huge Saints Row fan. I've played 2, 3, 4, and Get Out of Hell, and loved them all to bits. Last year, Volition made a little game called Agents of Mayhem, and it 
sold abysmally. No one purchased it. So I'm praying that they jump back into the Saints Row world because that is a guaranteed seller almost at this point. Will we get a Saints Row 5 or will we get a whole reboot? Um, I would welcome a reboot because I think the series has just gone off the wall crazy. Almost too crazy, which is a shame. But yeah, I mean, for me, Saints Row 2 is still like the best one. Even Saints Row 3 was pretty fun for the most part. But yeah, it'd be good to see them go back to their roots uh, in a Saints Row 5 or Saints Row reboot. Fingers crossed. Psychonauts 2 has been a game that's been floating around. Uh, it was crowdfunded on a website called Fig. And we've had updates on production as they've been making them and releasing them themselves. Um, Double Fine have been quite open with us about the production. But who knows, they might give us a whole bunch of new stuff at E3. I mean, that's the place to get noticed. So yeah, it'd be cool to see some new stuff in there. Maybe a gameplay trailer or a story trailer, because we don't know much about the story or any other characters at all. So that'd be cool, that'd be cool. Now, anyone that knows me well will know that I am a huge fan of the Tales of series. As part of my collection, I actually own all the English language releases of the games. And as far as I know, all the collector's editions that were released in Australia as well. I'm a huge fan and I've played uh, quite a few of them as well. And they are due for a new one. They can't be far away. I don't know if they'll announce anything at E3. The reason being that two days after E3 finishes, uh, Tales Fest kicks off in Japan, which is a yearly festival dedicated solely to the Tales of franchise. So that's usually where they'll announce new Tales games. And uh, yeah, they're definitely due to at least announce a new one. It'd be cool to see one on the Switch as well. Even if it's like a port of an old one, I'd take it. I'd love to play one of the later Tales games on a handheld, that'd be amazing. So fingers crossed. Speaking of the Switch, when are we gonna get a Ridge Racer for it? What's happening there? Ridge Racer is like the staple launch game for like every console ever. Why have we not seen one for like years? I don't know what's happened. I, I, I really wanna see a Ridge Racer, particularly on the Switch. That would be fantastic. Namco, make it happen. And also while you're at it, what happened to the Katamari series as well? I understand there was like an iPhone game released a while back but apart from that I mean we haven't seen anything since the Vita game it's like one of my favorite series ever I ah oh, oh I've got to make a video about how much I love Katamari one day it, it, it's coming it's coming uh, again on the switch would be amazing I would love to play Katamari on the switch and it'd be a perfect console for it I mean it's just like you can put quirky stuff on there and people buy it people laugh it up it's just fantastic so fingers crossed come on them go Give us the goods. Give us some Katamari. Give us some King of All Cosmos. Give us some weird, give us some color. Ah, give us some of that funky music. Now, this isn't a game, but if PlayStation Network could add the ability to change your username, that would be amazing. I have been waiting for this for like a decade and they still haven't done it. There was whispers about it like six months ago. One of the PlayStation higher ups was like, yeah, we might be able to do it. And everyone was like, come on guys. Like this is, in like, this is insane that it's not uh, a, a feature at this point. If they announce that that's gonna be a doable thing at E3 this year, this might be the best E3 ever. <laughs> I've, I've been waiting so long. I've been, it's like so long. I, I have a terrible username on PlayStation Network. That's why I don't give it out to anyone. But I also really don't want to give up my 1100 trophies that I've earned over many, many years. So, name change, name change, name change, name change! I bought a PlayStation 4 for a little game called Trials Fusion. Um, after my enjoyment of Trials and Trials Evolution on the Xbox 360, I was ecstatic to find out that Fusion, the third in the series, was going to be cross-platform and not just exclusively Xbox because I'm a PlayStation kid. So I bought that console to play Trials Fusion and I played it 
non-stop for I reckon six months. There are all these other fancy games with cool graphics and Infamous was out and bloody Killzone and everyone was like, oh, it's the next generation. And I'm like, 2D motorbikes, that's what I'm all about. But we haven't heard from the Trials series since Fusion, apart from the mobile game, which was good. And I, again, I was addicted to it for like six months straight. But yeah, we haven't had any console love for it since Fusion and it's DLC, I guess. So they are well and truly overdue for a new game in the series. It's been four years. There was only a two year gap between Evolution and Fusion. And now it's been a four year gap and we haven't heard anything about a fourth entry. So that'd be nice. I'd be down for that.